Hi guys, hope you all had a great holiday. Today is the day after Christmas and it is also my mom's birthday. And we had a tradition every year. We would get together and we would bake cookies or whatever. And then afterwards, we'd make some Greek coffee and enjoy the fruits of our labor while sitting around the dining room table and just catching up and laughing together. So in honor of her third heavenly birthday, I am reposting the video that I shot earlier this year where I showed you guys how to make gulurakia, a Greek egg and butter cookie. And this is one of the cookies that we used to make all the time. It's one of my favorites and I hope you guys enjoy it. Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of my all-time favorite cookies, guldurakia. Guldurakia are Greek egg and butter based cookies with little hints of vanilla and orange. They are traditionally served around Easter, but nowadays you can pretty much find them all the time. They are crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. They go great with coffee or tea and they are just one of my favorites. They're so delicious. My grandmother taught my mom how to make them. My mom taught me, and today I'm gonna to show you. So let's get to it. Here's everything you're gonna to need to make these amazing cookies. Two sticks of butter at room temperature, a cup and a half of sugar, four eggs, the zest of two oranges, a half a cup of milk, a tablespoon and a half of baking powder, a tablespoon of vanilla, four to six cups of flour, depending on the humidity in your kitchen, and last but not least, orange blossom water. Okay, let's get baking. In a mixing bowl, combine the butter and sugar and beat on medium speed for 10 to 15 minutes until the butter is creamy and fluffy. While the butter and sugar are mixing, you wanna heat your milk until it's lukewarm and then add the baking powder to it, stirring gently and be careful because it will foam up. Next, you wanna add the eggs to the butter and sugar mixture one at a time to allow each egg to be incorporated. Next, you wanna add the vanilla extract, orange zest, and milk with baking powder to your dough and mix until thoroughly combined. Make sure you scrape down the sides of the bowl to make sure everything is evenly incorporated. With the mixer on low speed, you'll wanna add the flour one cup at a time until the dough is soft and not too sticky. See how it's not sticking to your fingers? This is gonna be perfect. After the flour has been fully incorporated into the dough, place it in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes to chill and rest. Okay, so while the dough is chilling, I'm going to clean up and prep my baking sheets. I'm going to line them with parchment paper because the cookies will not stick and it makes cleanup even easier. All you do is just toss away the parchment paper. Okay, kitchen's all clean, the dough is chilled, the baking sheets are prepped, we are ready to make some cookies. Let's go over to the counter and I'll show you how I roll them out. Okay, so what you wanna do is take a piece of dough the size of a golf ball, roll it in your hands, then put it on the counter, roll it out to about six or seven inches long, Then take one end, cross it over the other, and then just twist it over. And there you have it. Okay, if you wanna make the S shape, take a piece of dough, roll it in your hand, roll it out on the counter to about seven inches. You don't have to measure. And then you just start rolling each end And there you have the S. A couple of things I did want to tell you guys is um, I did preheat the oven to 400 degrees when I took the dough out of the refrigerator and that this 
this uh, recipe makes about a little over four and a half dozen cookies, depending on how big you make them or how small. If you want to make more, if you want more cookies per batch, just uh, use a little bit smaller dough per cookie. And once these are all shaped, we are gonna brush them with an egg wash and bake them. Also, if you're not as fast or it takes you a little bit longer to roll out each cookie and you find that your dough is starting to warm up, you can put it back in the refrigerator for 15, 20 minutes to cool it down and then just pull it back out and just start reshaping them. It'll probably be a little easier because once this dough warms up, it does tend to get a little sticky again. Okay, I'm gonna continue rolling them out. Okay guys, here they are. It made four dozen cookies. I had a little bit left over, so I made Shuey a few too, because he loves these. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna brush them with an egg wash. I've got two egg yolks and a tablespoon of water mixed together, and I'm gonna use my pastry brush, and we're just gonna brush them all, put them in the oven 15 minutes, and they'll be done. Okay, into the oven, 15 minutes, and then onto a cooling rack. And they're all done. Here they are. They have a nice golden color to them. Don't they look delicious? Now I did want to show you one thing. This is the reason why we put egg wash on them. I accidentally missed one and you can see the difference between the two. It looks so naked. <laughs> so the recipe did make about uh, four dozen. Uh, there's just shy of four dozen here because we may have sampled some. <laughs> But these are just a really delicious, uh, not a super sweet cookie, but they are packed with flavor. And let me just show you. They have a nice golden color on the top. They are nice and golden on the bottom. They are a little crisp. 
but once you open them, they are super soft and you can see the speckles of orange zest in there too. And here they are. Don't they look delicious? All right, guys. Well, I guess it's time to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope uh, it inspires you to go bake. And please let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed them. Thanks, guys, so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.